All right, so Little Martha by the Allman Brothers. This is from 1972's Eat a Peach album. And it was originally recorded in October of 1971. And just a few weeks after they recorded it, Dwayne Allman was killed in a motorcycle accident. And he was only 24 years old. It's crazy. And the version on Eat a Peach is a lot different from the original version, which you can find on a compilation called Dreams. And that's um, a version with Dwayne Allman, Dickie Betts, and Barry Oakley playing bass. So it's got bass on it, and it sounds a lot different. Okay, and other than the bass, there are differences. The two guitar parts sound a lot cleaner, a lot more simple than the E to Peach version. It's in a different key, because in my opinion, I think when they took the bass off, they sped it up, and they added another guitar part. Okay, so um, today what I'm, we're going to go over is what I think they recorded on the album. This isn't a solo version per se, although you could easily combine these parts and come up with your own solo version. Um, this is kind of a breakdown of what I think, you know, my opinion of how they did it on the album, how they recorded the tracks, right? And if you click that I up there, there somewhere or the link in the description box below. It'll take you to my website, and I always put um, a little write-up of these songs I do, and I'll include links to the different versions so you can hear what I'm talking about. Anyways, we're in open E tuning here. I'll put the tuning down here. And um, a lot of people don't like to put their guitars in open E because they think it puts too much stress on the neck. I don't agree with that. I, I've never had a problem. I've been doing it for years. So, But if you're worried about it, you can tune to open D and put a capo on the second fret. You'll get the same thing. So let's get going. I'm going to show you the low part because this is a duet, right, with uh, Dwayne Allman and Dickie Betts. So I'm going to show you the low part first. The intro goes like this. Roughly, you know, this is a real open-ended kind of uh, intro. So the first thing I'm going to do is play the first four strings of their thumb, ending on the G string, and then we're going to fret uh, G1 and open B. And I do that with my first finger on the G, second finger on the B, and then we've got the open A string, and then D2. And as we hit D2, I want to slide my thumb over there and mute out that E string. All right, then we're going to go. What that is, is D string and G string. Open, and then D2, G1. Open B, open A string, and then that chord, which is like a B7, you've got um, B4 there. So, and then back to this, and then, right, and then the song starts, okay? So the low part's going to go like this. That's the first section. Without the thumb, it's just... Really simple, right? We're only fretting D2, and in the end there, we're on A4. But we throw the thumb in there, so we've got... everything off of either the low E string or the D string. Right? And I go, a lot of, a lot of guys you'll hear go. You know, they're hitting that low E all the time, but to me, it doesn't sound right. What I'm hearing is jumping up to the open D string. And 
when we hit that A4, we're gonna go thumb finger, right? Thumb open, finger fourth fret. And then the second time through, we just um, change the ending. Right, just A string to D string. Okay, and that's the low part. Now, next part, we're gonna bar on the fifth fret, we're gonna go. to this. And then we ended up with right? Da, 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 da. And we got a lot of this thumb finger on the same string. Okay, so let's do that whole thing. going to head into this section which is D9, B9 and G8 and with three fingers right we're going to go and then bar in the fifth fret same three strings and then we're going to hit um, seventh fret D seventh fret G open B we got this lick So it's G string, B string, and then the D string. See, those notes are the same, right? The D string and the B string. Okay, so. And now we go back up here, back there, and we land up here. D2 and G1. So, and we're gonna go. That's exactly the same as the first time, and we ended up by going. And that is D4 and G3, and we just arpeggiate it, the open B string, slide it down two frets, to the open D, and then fourth fret, E string, pull off, open D. So that whole thing would be And then we just repeat that whole first section. Coming out of that repeat, we're coming out of this. go instead of going we're gonna go then low E D string low E and then we head into the middle section Okay, super.
super cool part. Um, we're going to bar on the seventh, and we're going to play basically just the G and the D string. Going to hammer on to um, D9 and G8. What I do is I go first finger and second finger when I hammer it, and then thumb finger. And then I'm going to go open D string and bar on the 5th fret, G, B, and E. Okay, repeat it. Down this. We know those already, right? And this lip. And then now. know that from before, right? And we repeat. Now sometimes I'm I'm getting that third note in there, right? With my third finger. So I'm getting that. Now you can do that or not do that, but I every now and then that kind of sounds cool, right? off with and this time when we do we don't go we go to the major third we kind of go to the minor third there and put a little bend in there right it makes it a little more like sassy right and then we're we just repeat we know all that already so that's the low part and then the only other thing is the ending where it's um harmonic it's just fifth fret seventh fret twelfth fret seventh fret and then just an arpeggio one two three four five six right okay so that's your low part now the high part is gonna go like this all right same thing we're gonna bounce off that D string and now, what I was talking about earlier with that third guitar part is what I hear is this. Right, I hear that doubling up on that D string. And I think that's really important because I think it adds a lot of drive. Now, it's pretty far down in the mix, but still it kind of pushes the song along, right? And I think they overdubbed that when they took the bass out. That's just my opinion, right? Okay, so... Okay, really simple, but when we add that... Um, the doubling on the D string... Right, it's always bouncing off there. So, kind of would look like this. Right, and up to speed. Bring it up here. All right, and that's just barring on the fifth fret, hammering on the sixth of the G. Right, that's um, D7, and then B7, B5. Right? But we add, we don't do a lot there. Right? 
it's kind of a feel thing. And then when we head back down, and I would think it's Dickie Betts playing this part because he was quite a banjo player too, right? And this is really kind of banjo-like. And now we get into this. Okay, and it's the same thing, really. It's just um, as that low, except we're going to be up here. So we've got G8 and B9 and E9, three fingers, right? And then bar on the fifth and then bar on the seventh but include the D string because we're going to go we're kind of climbing up right and I go finger thumb thumb on that D now Okay, and that is the same as the low part, except we're going to add this um, E2. We're not really going to play that D string, but I fret it anyways. We just pull the three fingers on G, B, and E. So, And then we've got... Took me a long time to hear these parts because the track is mixed more or less in mono, you know, so it's, it sounds like one massive guitar. But, and this, of course, is just my opinion, but this is what I think they're doing. And then, and that's just. G3, right? Open B, open E. G1. Op ending on the open G. And then just doubling that up, right? Okay, and then it does it again. go through that whole deal again um, but coming out of that now we're gonna go right which is cool uh, so we've got that and then we're gonna go seventh fret B and D or G and then fifth fret D and A and we want to let those ring, right? So we don't want to kill the first one when we hit the second one, right? We want to let them all ring. So, and now I think the higher guitar is doing this. And that is just a B and E string from 7th to 9th. And just picking with your fingers, right? And down two frets. Then, so we've got the 5th fret of the G and the B and the open E. Do da da da, right? Then, same as the low part, right? Just open D and the bar in the fifth, then repeat. And now this. You know all that, and then repeat it. Now 
Now this part, and I can hear this. I can hear that note in there. Instead of there, we're going to go there and put a bend on it. So that whole part. do that I like to go thumb on that G string. You could go three fingers. That's harder I think than using your thumb so And then of course it ends, you know, we um just the harmonics. Five, seven, twelve, seven. Right? Then just harmonic on the twelfth. Okay, and that's it. Those are the two guitar parts. Well, three guitar parts, in my opinion, right? Um, and you know, if you want to play this solo, you can kind of you can figure out a way to put those two together like up in the A that's what I do if I was going to play it solo I'd go open A open B open G and then 7th D 7th B and 6 G so be like this. You know, and then you can choose which part you want to do there. I would do the high part. And then maybe the low part for that, right? So there's, you know, you have to do some thinking and figure out which parts you want to use. And in this part, That note is clearly in there, but the only way to kind of get around that if you want to play it solo is to do this form. I find that really awkward. But you know, you can figure out ways of, of playing this by yourself. But my intention in this lesson was to show you um, what they did on the record, at least my opinion of what they did on the record. And in my demo, that's um, that's how I played it. All right, so that's it for this one. I hope you get something out of it. Hope you enjoy playing the song, and we'll talk to you next time.